Hello, teachers and tracksuit enthusiasts. My name is TB Sky, and welcome back to the Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke Challenge, where we've got some housekeeping to get through. Uh, <laughs> so, first of all, uh, the reason why the challenge, the series was gone for so long, was that I was moved. Well, first of all, it was Arcane came out, and I have to dedicate all my time to that. But then I hit December, and I got an offer for a new apartment to move to in January. So all of December kind of went away just planning, preparing a move, and doing all the things needed to do that. And then most of January just went with dealing with doing the actual move and getting things into the apartment, getting everything in order, and getting situated in the new town. This is terrible. A lot of things happened. Now I'm back. Now, a couple of episodes of the series will have gone up recently-ish. Uh, so ha haven't been, because there were a couple of episodes that I forgot that Jane had actually edited. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to post them because I'm an idiot, but they've gone up. But now this is the first one I'm recording in the new place. And here's a funny story. Uh, when I booted up my computer after I moved, and I don't think it had anything to do with the move specifically, but when I booted up and it loaded up Pokemon Heart Gold, and I was like, okay, let's try and see if we can continue where we left off. I couldn't continue where I left off because be I, because I don't know why. Uh, something, maybe I forgot to save like an idiot or something happened, but I don't know. But it, it my save file put me back at before I beat the ghost gym in the previous town. Um, we are we are still now here. Uh, I've, I've sort of I've played up to where we were, but it put me back in the previous town before I beat the gym. Um, and so I had to do like just an ungodly amount of, of, of going through. Like I had to go through all my footage. And like, I, I don't know if it was a save game corruption or if, if, if I did something wrong or whatever. But I, was, I went through my footage, copy, like, tried to copy, make sure that I got all the same Pokemon, more or less to the same level, and it didn't catch anything new, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure I've managed that. So now, here we are, back where we were. I have I have completed the lighthouse. I have given the, the medicine to the sick Pokemon. I think I've done, like, 99.9% .9 of the same things. Uh... With the exception uh, of, well, I have a different Pokemon with me. I think at the end of the, of, of, of the footage of the last video, I had decided to, to bring Mr. Sunday with me. Uh, but I've thought the better of it, and I've decided to bring Chopsky instead. Uh, my, my little, uh, uh, not Machoke, but uh, Machop. Uh, and I've trained him up to level 24 right now. So that's where we're at. Uh, I, th I think I think the challenge is still alive. Like I, I don't believe I've caught any new Pokemon or anything. Um, I, I th obviously had to catch uh, some Mons that were different. Like I caught a Tentacool and named it Tenties as I did before, but it's a different one. It's, I, I don't, it's not a hundred pounds anymore, which is sad. That was kind of funny to have a hundred pound Tentacool. So yeah, no, I think everything's good. Uh, the other different thing is you might notice that the visuals look, uh, maybe, I don't know if they're going to look that different to you, but they certainly do to me, because I moved over to a different emulator. This one, uh, no, actually, I, what am I saying? I, I'm not on the emulator. I'm playing on a completely legitimately purchased copy uh, from Nintendo on an original DS, which is outputting HD video to my computer because of, that's, yeah. Um, but but if I were playing on an emulator, theoretically, I would have switched to a different one, which doesn't have those graphical glitches that have been bugging us, um, and which outputs at a much higher internal resolution. So like that's 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 theoretically what would have happened if I was theoretically playing on an emulator, which I'm not. Um, so that's nice. We won't have the graphical glitches, and the game might look a little nicer and run a little bit smoother, which is wonderful. So with all of that out of the way, now I need to remember where the hell I was. Like, I, I remember that I got in here, and I got the medicine, and I haven't taken on either the gym here or on the island yet. I think we, we no, we fought one guy on the in the gym on the island. I haven't fought him yet now, but the thing I wanted to do now... <laughs> oh, sorry for this chaos. I'm, I'm sort of trying to get back into the swing of things. I haven't recorded anything in two months. The thing I wanted to do now is I wanted to check out this gym. I wanted to check one of the one of the minor trainers to see what level they're at, and sort of determine whether I can whether whether I have a snowball's chance in hell of beating them, uh, which is what we have ma matchup or Chopsky for. Hey, dude. Oh no, you're coming. Oh, thank you for helping the gym leader, but the battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. He doesn't. He doesn't want to. Okay. <laughs> I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. Oh, oh, those are the trainers from the light. Oh, so I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, so I can't use the trainers to gauge the level of the gym. <laughs> so as I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going into this blind without knowing how high level it is, huh? Okay, I th mm -hmm. right. I think um, with apologies to Jane, who's gonna have to edit this, I think that calls for maybe just a little, just a little, just a little, <laughs> just a little bit of grinding to make sure that I'm not walking into a blender right now because it's a steel type gym. I know that much, and a steel type gym could chew my team to pieces right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna make sure that, uh, that at least match up here is a, a match choke. I think, when do they evolve? Level 26 or something? I guess I'll find out. Okay. <laughs> I fear the gym leader battles, though. Like, I am... Oh, I'm not eager. I am not eager to take on any gym leaders right now, but uh, but it must be done. By the way, I'm I'm playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, it's it's one of the games. Like I I do reserve some games for myself that I just do not make content about ever, um, because they are they are like um, oop, darn I need to not use that speed up button. Um, because like it's it's the only way to stay sane when you're a content creator is just to reserve some things that are just for you. So gaming is still fun and not only a job. And RCS is one of those games. But I will say that my God, going back to like a DS era Pokemon game after playing RCS for like 50 hours at this point, um, it's boy howdy. It's a bit of a you 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 kind of do you feel just how impactful the quality of life changes in Arceus are. For those who don't know, in Arceus, um, you don't need to go to the move trainer. Like, if you've forgotten, if, if you've erased a move from your Pokemon that you want them to have, you don't have to go to the trainer. You can just go in here, and you can just have them learn. Like, they have a pool of moves that they've learned. Every move they've ever learned is there, and you can just assign, you can build move sets for each of your Pokemon, just kind of willingly you don't have to bother about it also you can change their nicknames at any point in time and battles have been streamlined massively just so that they they like so they're, they're much less this thing of like you go i go you go i go and every time like every time anyone does anything there's a huge text pop up that says oh yes the thing did the thing which did the thing and now the other thing happened that did the other thing which is very effective or super effective or not effective or effective in the extreme like like they, they've cut out so much of the of everything that made poke that has traditionally made Pokemon kind of a slow game to play, and now coming back to Heart Cold, my goodness gracious, am I feeling it? Uh, so that's the sort of thing that like going forward, I hope they keep those quality of life changes because they make it a much more pleasant series to play. I've got to say, and, and also just the streamlining in terms of like EXP share. It's that now just all your Pokemon gain experience from everything all the time. Like, no EXP share, no ability to turn it on or off. It's just there. Everyone gains experience from everything. And you gain experience from using your Pokemon's abilities out on the field. And like, it's it's just... There's much less grinding. Like, you can grind if you want to, but there's much less of it built into the structure. Which, again, I'm feeling that a lot coming back to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which, as I learned after I decided to start on this challenge, are some of the grindiest games in the entire franchise. Anyway, please don't kill my Pokemon. Thank you for your help, the light... I can't remember what voice I gave her. Thank you for your help, the lighthouse. But this is different. Please, allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the Clang Steel Type. Do you know about the steel type? They are very hard, cold, sharp, and really strong. Uh, I'm not lying. Oh, I don't doubt you for a second, dear gym leader. 
gotta say for Steel, I, I think the, the the character design that she's going with is actually kind of interesting. Oh, it's level 30. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> because that means her ace. Her ace is gonna be more than level 30. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I might need to be a little bit careful for this one. But I do like her character design because, like, this is a steel type gym. Like, and, and traditionally in Pokemon, like, trainers are sort of, they they have this thing that where pets look like they're people. Um, like, where they, like, a steel trainer, you think, oh yeah, it's gonna be someone with, like, a steel bracer wearing armor, like, very big and buff and strong. And Jasmine is just, like, this very sort of soft with a little dress, very feminine character who's who's not not at all is sort of hard edge dangerous era like nothing edgy about her character design at all i kind of like that little like putting that little gap in there okay uh oh i forgot to turn battle scenes on <laughs> oh don't do that to me don't do that don't do that don't do that to me do i have any paralyzed heals yes i do don't if you use thunder wave again now i'm gonna i'm gonna kick you in the nuts Okay, Hyper Potion. I, I can deal with Hyper Potion. That's good. Like, you use it now. Yes, use it on that one. Don't use it on your ace. Use it on that one. That's better. What? For God's sake! Oh, it's kind of late at night. I shouldn't be this loud. <sighs> I have a full heal. As well. Okay. Because, uh, like, whatever comes next, I would like... Not to be paralyzed for it, but okay. Oh, good. Okay. Right. Please don't be an electric Pokemon. It's another electric Pokemon. Okay. Because my other plan was to use Splashy or Teeth. Um, but I, I can't do that because <laughs> they are weak to electric. So, hey, Orbison, do you want to take this one? At least you'll be not taking a lot of damage from whatever it can do, but you also can't deal any, so... Oh, wait, I have Sonic Boom. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not very effective. Orbison should be able to take that guy out. Like, it's another Thunderbolt, right? Or it's a Sonic Boom that misses. Good. So, one more Sonic Boom from me should do it. And then I can swap out Orbison. Okay, there's the Steelix, which is... A, it's a pure Steel type, I think. Right? Like, when, when you... If all that is not steel rock, that would be good because then it would be double weak to fighting, but. Okay, it's level 35. Oh, now I need to make the decision whether I'm gonna risk trying for like a vital throw or a revenge that might not go off because he's paralyzed and then maybe he gets two hit KO'd if I try to restore. I know I need to restore the health now. Do I have any X defense? I have X special defense. Okay, oh, that's not really gonna do anything for me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. Oh, that's really not good. That's really, really bad. Destroy. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I am screwed. I am really, really, really screwed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dragon Rage, save me. Like, it's the guaranteed 40 damage, right? Like, that's... It can do it in three... Ah, he's a flying type. Fortunately, that guy has pathetic special attack. Okay. Oh, Citrus Berry, you son of a... Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. If he's dumb enough to keep using rock throw because because I'm technically weak to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course you do that. Okay. I have to follow suit now. I have to also heal. Oh, Chopsky. <laughs> don't crit with it. Just 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 do not crit with that. Just with with. Just don't crit with it. Just don't crit. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm about to have an aneurysm. Okay. Okay, all right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. <laughs> At least Steel Tail is not effective against. Oh, oh, phew. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh, thank God, Gyarados is overpowered. Oh God. Jesus Christ. I just... Uh, I thought you'd be lower level. God damn it, Chopsky. Like, one hit KO! Because because he got the Screech off. Like, because the, the, the defense stats... Like, Metrochs already don't have great defense. And then... God damn it. Okay, we're, we're alive. I thought I was going to lose more. I, 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 I thought for sure... Like it was, it was gonna rock throw or rock slide or something, and then Gyarados was just gonna go down like that. But okay, <sighs> okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're not good. I lost Chopsky. <laughs> mm. But uh, we're good. Okay, all right, I'm okay, I'm all right. You are a better trainer than me. In both skill and kindness. In accordance with League rules, I confer upon you this badge. Thank you. With that badge, all Pokemon, including traded Pokemon, absolutely, or something, blah, blah, blah. And please take this too, which would be Iron Tail, right? It's called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon will hit the target with its hard tail, occasionally lowering the target's defense. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Okay. We made it. We live. Okay. All right, well. Oh, man, Chopsky, I'm sorry. I even evolved you into a mech choke. I thought that would be enough, but no. Okay, well, have to say goodbye now, then. do we replace you with then? Um, I guess now Mr. Sunday because now we need to go back to the island and take on the gym over there. It's gonna turn out that the gym over there, the Pokemon are like level 25 and that's where I should have gone first. Yeah, okay. <sighs> yeah. Sorry, Chopsky. Bye. I feel really bad about that. Like, I trained him up for that specific gym and then lost him. Ugh. Well, okay. All right. We we beat it. We we live. However, barely. Just going to switch Sunday out, Mr. Sunday out to be in front. And we're off to the island, where hopefully the trainers are not higher level.
right? Like, this is what I'm talking about in terms of, like, things being streamlined. Because, like, in Arceus, you just kind of, you just jump into the water and then you automatically ride a Pokemon that you can surf on. Like, that just, that just happens like that. Like, without needing to sort of stop and be like, hey, do you want to use the surf Pokemon to do the surf? And, like, a lot of, a lot of that design legacy, a lot of that in, in, in Pokemon, like, so much of it is just legacy from the very original Pokemon on the Game Boy. Like, the very original Pokemon on the Game Boy, because it had so few graphical assets, like, it had so little to work with visually, it had to do all of these, like, text descriptions of, like, oh, the move made the Pokemon confused, and, like, uh, the Pokemon has gotten a burn, and then damage happens because the Pokemon was... Like, they had to do those descriptions in text because that was that was quite oh my god quite literally all they had access to was text um but that changed like very rapidly like the moment it came, came onto the game boy advance really if you look at other rpgs on that system they were all using like symbolic representations of like if you have a status change on one of your characters well the what's going to happen is that there's going to be a little number that pops up over their head in purple that says ooh took damage and that's poison damage and you can kind of like th like that visual language exists from other rpgs with which to communicate like that sort of information to players but because pokemon like po because pokemon has been so resistant so glacially slow to change even as they moved up in the generations pokemon just didn't take advantage of any of that game design. Like, they didn't take advantage of any of that game design language to communicate with the players. They just kind of kept doing, well, we did text boxes in the last game, and that's part of the combat system, so we're doing text boxes here now, too. And we're doing it in the next game, and we're doing it in the next game. And there is an argument to be made that that's good for accessibility. Like, that that can be very helpful for accessibility, especially to young players who need descriptions, like, who need to learn what the thing means and stuff. Like, they, I think there's an argument to be made for that, but... Also, like, game design has moved on in the past 30 years, and Pokemon for the longest time just didn't, which is another one of the reasons why, I'm, I, why I personally got so excited for Arceus, is because it's like the first real step that the series has taken in its entire lifetime towards genuinely modernizing the games. Like, not just slapping a new coat of paint on the same system, but looking at underlying systems and design traditions in the series critically and saying, hey, do we need this? Like, could we maybe do without that? Like, can we... Can we kind of... Can we kind of move on from these things? He's so into his training, he doesn't seem to notice you. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So that's... I mean, we can't load, but let's just save. And... How about you? How you doing? My Pokémon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Cool. Good for you, man. That's a Hitmon. Yeah, there they, There we go. That's level 27. Uh, it's still a little bit dangerous with the level 23 against a Hitmon Lee. Let's see how much damage we can do. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Uh, okay. So we need something that doesn't get hurt by fighting attacks. I think Teeth is probably the safest bet here. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we don't want you to do that. We don't want you to do any of that. There we go, that's better. This isn't real! You seem to have a strong bond with your Pokémon, too. Okay. Now, you. We martial artists fear nothing. You fear psychic types. Is that the Hitmonchan? Yes. Hitmonchans tend to have stuff like Thunder Punch. Um, which is bad. Uh, okay, Omelette, I think maybe you're my best bet here. No, because you're a normal type. Oh, no.
Wait, hang on. What? Normal flying. Okay, yeah. It, like a th thunder punch. Uh, oh, shit. Well, uh, I'm actually genuinely kind of in trouble here. Uh, <laughs> am I going to lose another Pokemon? Fire punch, ice punch. Oh, my fucking God! No! Okay, so it has... Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch. Thunder Punch is gonna break Splashy in half because it's a water flying type. But it does mean it doesn't have any... No it does a Fire Punch, though, which is gonna kill a Steel type. Okay, I'm just gonna have to beg and pray that Teeth is faster? Please, 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 one hit KO. Please, 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 please. No, oh, no. Okay, it used the wrong punch. Jesus Christ! That's shocking. Yeah, fuck you, buddy! Fighting type Pokemon, I was afraid of Psychic. Yeah, fuck you! Just fuck, piss off. Ooh! Snowed! No! I wanted to make you into a Hypno. Oh, well, this is starting off well. Welcome back from the hiatus, Skyne. Have a couple of ass kickings to say hello. Oh my god. If, if, if it had thunder punched Teeth, like if it had done that, he might have, he might have gone down. <laughs> like he might just straight up have have bought the farm. Oh, Christ almighty. Well, this is not a great start. Okay. Am I gonna have to anticipate fire punch then? Like, am I going to have to anticipate those elemental punches from the gym leader as well? Is what I'm asking here. Because Thunder Punch... ...would wreck any of the... F like... Because this is like a normal flying type, so it's not resistant. And it's not a pure flying type. I don't think I can... I don't think I have access to any pure flying types... Um, ...right now. This is not a pure flying type, and Firo is not a pure flying type either. So they don't have resistance to the fighting moves. Only the psychic ones do. And the only psychic Pokemon I have left now are my normal flying token... Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and my water type psychic Slowpoke. Because, like, the best I can think of otherwise is trying to level up Venonat. But, like, it doesn't level up until... What? Like, level something awful. It's gonna take a million years to get to. Uh, yeah, level 31. Before... And that would give me, like, a bug poison type, which would have no weak... It would still be weak to fire punch, if that's there, of course, but... At least poison type, I rec as I recall, have an advantage against fighting. Is that my best option then? Like, well, either that or Nidoran, I guess. Do I have a Moonstone? Do I have a Moonstone? I don't think I do. Do I? Oh, go away, Lyra. Not now. I'm not in the mood. I mean, I don't, do I? I have an Everstone, Silk Scarf, Super Repel. Yeah. Nay, Moonstones.
Yeah, so I can't get myself a Nido Queen. Ah, oh, man, my options are so limited. The other thing I could do is I could get Metapod leveled the hell up so to get a... I think because that's a bug flying type, which would be very resistant to the fighting. Vulnerable to fire punch still, but... Okay, so I could level up Metapod. That'll take a million years, and it, Butterfree will never be that strong. I can level up Spiro, which will get an evolution pretty quickly, and that becomes a fairly powerful flying type. Still vulnerable to Thunder Punch. Like, no, I think... Yeah. Hmm. What do you mean my party is full? Did I not deposit Snout? Oh, I didn't. Goodbye, Snout. Son of a bitch that hit Munch and hit hard. Uh, single stage Pokemon. They fall off, but damn if they're not powerful while well, you still have to deal with them. Okay. Right. So, high 20s, low 30s on the Pokemon levels here. Great. I don't suppose this is open yet. Oh, it is! Okay, Safari Zone. Good, 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 good. That's an opportunity. That's an opportunity to get something new. Ooh, and a new route. Okay. Any wild encounters here? Kind of feels like there isn't. Oh, you're a trainer, are you? Well, Mr. Sunday could, uh... Oh, shit. The battles are battles, so let's go. Mr. Sunday could do with the, with the experience, so I'll take it. Gunsparce. That's a ground electric, isn't it? I think it's a ground electric. Oh, shit, no, because I keep forgetting it's a flying type. <laughs> At least it's only level 19. It shouldn't be able to one-hit KO. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just... Yawn right back. Okay, well, didn't want to be paralyzed, but that could have gone worse. Okay, well, the paralysis is not being too mean, so that's nice. I genuinely can't remember what types Dunsparce are, though. Oh my god, okay, well, you have a one-track mind there, buddy. Okay, now paralysis is starting to haunt me. There we go, okay, well... If it had if, if if it had actually gotten that rollout going and I'd been paralyzed that many times, that would have been bad. <laughs> that, that would not have been good at all. <laughs> After a battle, you should always leave with a parting laugh. <laughs> Well, back to the Pokemon Center, because uh, I really need to go to the Pokemart and get some healing items for status effects. Okay. Back to that route. Gotta be a Pokemon or two we can catch there. And then, in the Safari Zone. Hopefully, something, anything. <laughs> That's... Remotely useful against the fighting type, Jim. 
where motherfuckers are around with thunder, fire, and ice punch all at the same time like assholes. What a dick move. Like, what a dick thing to do. That's just mean. If you see a fork in the road inside a cave, most likely, one way is right and the other leads to a dead end. But people can't help trying both. Do you want to go up the ladder or down the ladder? Screw you for calling me out. Obviously, I want to go everywhere and see everything. Random encounter? Yes. Okay, cliff cave. What do we go? Okay, well, I've already got an onyx, so that doesn't count as the first encounter. Thank God. Soif. But a pretty sweet little experience prize there. Cool. What else? Geodude Subats, I guess. Or Golbats, of which I already also have one. Uh, but where I can confusion you to death, right? Oh no, it has bite. That's right, it has bite. It has bite. It has that. That's a thing it has. It has that thing. So we should not mess around with it. Yeah, none of that, please. Yeah. Oh, come on! Orbison, please. Thank you. There we go. That's another quite lovely thing. And not to gush over Arceus during the entire episode, but that's another lovely thing about Arceus, by the way, is that, like, level difference has been made a substantially less important factor in battles. Like, in terms of... Like, in... in in a normal Pokemon game, like, if you're 10 levels up on your opponent and they hit you with something that's not super effective, you can sort of count on them being functionally unable to damage you. Okay, I already have a Krabby, so that wouldn't count as my first encounter either. But, like, you can count on them being functionally unable to damage you. Like, simply not able able to really do any damage to you. In Arceus, like, if you are... have Like, I have had my level 55 Pokemon up against something that was level 32, which still, with like a relatively normal attack that isn't super effective, can take off like a good fifth of my health, um, like with a single attack. So that it's like, it's much less of a thing of like, if you encounter something that's way below your level, it's not trivial anymore. Like it's not, it's not like being over leveled will absolutely let you one hit KO things, but it's like less, it's less strictly binary. So it's, it's less a thing of, like, whoever has the higher level wins, but but still, like, if you have a lower level and you have super, like, a, and you have type advantage, like, you can really, like, you can really punch way above your weight. Which is important because there are the uh, boss Pokemon in Arceus that will almost always be way higher level than the rest of your party, and so in order to deal with those, you kind of do need, um, you, you do need some way to fight Pokemon that are way above your level, but it cuts both ways, right? Like, so... Pokemon that are way below your level can still be a threat, even if you have massively overleveled your Pokemon. And that can, in some ways, that can be frustrating because it feels like you're being punished if you take the time to grind and really overlevel yourself. It can kind of feel like you're being punished for that. Um, which, you know, that sucks. Uh, but... Hmm, do I want to keep Dig? I mean, I can't get rid of Strength or Surf, so... I'd have to get rid of strength. But strength is like strength is higher power anyway, so yeah, give up on it. But like it, it does mean like it makes the world feel more dangerous. Like it feels more dangerous to be attacked by wild Pokemon. Okay. I, I gave my phone number to one of the sailors in the in the lighthouse, Huey. So that he would call me for rematches, I thought that might be useful for grinding up some experience points, but so far he's just called me to brag about how cool his Pokemon are. Oh, hey, Matchup, how you doing? You can't come with me either. Okay, so we've got Matchops, we've got Kinglers, we've got Onyxes, and Golbats so far. Doesn't really look like there's anything else. Come on, there's gotta be something here. 
Like, there's gotta be something I haven't encountered already. There's gotta be a thing. There's gotta be one thing. There's gotta be one thing. Just, just one thing. There's gotta be a thing. There's gotta, okay, what do you do? I, okay, well, I haven't actually caught a Geodude. Right? Well? I guess I know what we have to catch now. <laughs> okay. Magnitude? Magnitude bad. Like, magnitude 9? Really bad. Magnitude 7? Not as bad, but still bad. Don't want to take risks. Okay, um, it's a Geo dude. It should be able to be caught, right, with a Pokeball. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Well, Geo dude is our catch for this route. Most people may not notice, but a closer look should reveal that there are many Geo dude around. That's a fucking ominous thing to hear. <laughs> right. <laughs> you are surrounded and you don't even know it. Of course we call her Rocky. Okay, so that's the catch for the cave. And okay. Mm. So we can surf here and we'll probably get an encounter of a water type, which is not really what I'm looking for right now. Can we get an encounter outside on Route 47 that's not in the water? Well, we can have a trainer encounter is what we can have. Let me just make sure Orbison is ready for it. Because it's a double encounter, too. Okay, uh... Should probably make sure to have... Teef is there? Good. Yeah. Okay, then. The two of us aren't just some boring pair. Could have fooled me. Well, that's not an I... That's not an ideal matchup there. Is it? Oh, my team has trouble with electric types. It has trouble with them. I, ha I have three flying types on my team, I've only just realized. Three flying types, that's too many flying types. Okay. I would rather lose Splashy than Teeth, so... I have, like, I, I... It's a water electric. Why did I put that out there? It's a water flying against an electric... Oh, no. Thankfully, that Electabuzz was, was friendly, kind enough to... <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I may have fucked up a little bit here. Could you could try and kill the Magmar, and could you... Could you just, just real quick? Oh, son of a bitch. I don't have... I guess I have Tarkin, who's weak to fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the game is kicking my ass. Yeah. God damn it. It has a double weakness. It's gonna get so killed. Because, like, my thinking is I can surf and that'll do some damage to Electabuzz and kill Magmar. But Splashy's gonna get absolutely destroyed by that Electabuzz. It, it's going to die. Oh, I should have thought a little bit more careful about how I was... I was not expecting to encounter a fucking Electabuzz out here, I will say. Mm. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck me sideways. 
you cannot be serious. Am I gonna lose here? Well, technically, technically, I could rebuild a team from what I have. Oh no, that's gonna hit Omelette as well. Oh my god! If I can kill the goddamn Electabuzz. Which is probably gonna target. Oh, actually, what is it gonna do? Because Magmar is definitely gonna target Omelette. But the Electabuzz might target Splashy instead. So if Splashy can at least get an attack off. Probably not. Yeah, no, double weakness. Really nothing I could do there. And now Amla is confused as well. This is going great. You've got to be kidding. You have absolutely 110% got to be kidding my ass. Please flinch. Fuck you. Okay, I, I grant you are not a boring pair. You are a pair of bastards, is what you are. But down goes your goddamn Electabuzz, so fuck you. You just go ahead and protect yourself. You're gonna need it. Okay. I was trying very hard, like... Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my good god. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course you are. Okay, could you, could you please yawn? Could you please yawn at it? Omelette, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank the lord, okay. Oh, would you stop doing that? There, now you stop doing that. Ugh. Mine wasn't what I expected. You're unusual to fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your stupid matching hair and your stupid matching outfits and your really well put together combo of goddamn Pokemon. Just, just, uh, from coast to shining coast, fuck you. I can't remember if that brings you back to, like... It just brings you back to the last door you entered. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. What a fucking episode. Jesus Christ. I forgot to heal teeth. That's great. Seismic Toss, at least, shouldn't do too much damage. No, but I also can't. Okay. Uh, son of a bitch. Uh, it's flying, so it should be protected from fighting attacks being too dangerous. What do you know? There's also my chokes here. I'll take Air Cutter. It's 55. Oh, right, it has the high critical ratio. That's what makes that thing the thing. Uh, nah. Don't need it.
Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I that guy This this has all rather taken the wind out of my sails. That's that's some. Um, Yeah, that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. I lost my Gyarados. I lost my Slowpoke. I lost my... Magnemite. Okay, well... Okay. I just, I just wanted more Pokemon. I just, I just wanted to catch something. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to catch something. But I, to be fair, this was entirely my own fault for, like, I, I really should have paid more attention to the fact that I had so much vulnerability to electricity in my party. I really should have paid attention. Mr. Sunday came back. Was he worried about you? Fuck the rules. I, I did what the Nuzlocke said. I released him. I did the thing. And he came back. So. So he's coming with me. Fuck you. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <clears throat> I need something that can take on the fighting gym, so I think Spiro is probably my best other option there. Because, like, that's not happening, that's not happening, that's just a water type, like, it, they can get pretty powerful, but... Like, I, I really kind of wanted... Well, mm, since I'm building it for the fighting gym... Poison's probably not a bad, bad water poison, rather than flying normal. Okay. There needs to be, um... There needs to be a grind. To get these guys up to scratch. I am not gonna challenge any more trainers now. <laughs> For a while. Cuz... Cuz I'm not going through that again. I'll tell you that much. Fuck you. Fuck the rules. I don't I don't care. Like I don't know what the Nuzlocke rules say about if a Pokemon decides to come back. But I am I'm counting that fully as a Gandalf the White moment. Um and you can't tell me otherwise. I released it. I did what the rules say. So now Mr. Sunday is staying with me forever. F forever. Like I'm never letting that Pokemon go. I don't care. Hmm. There's no way to fish in here, is there? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, not challenging any more trainers whatsoever. But I will poke my nose ahead a little bit more further. Okay, there's a trainer and there doesn't seem to be a way forward there, so... 
could really use the stone that lets me evolve Omelet into its final form. But I wouldn't know where to find it. Hey, Teef. How you doing, buddy? I can't... I cannot believe that Pokemon can just decide to come back. I can't believe that's a thing. But yeah, I'm gonna po poke my nose a little bit ahead further just to see if we can't get a catch on Route 47 that isn't in the water, because that would be nice. Another lagging tail, I've already got one of those. Oh, we could, uh, well, if we had headbutt. Oh, I have it, I have headbutt, okay. So we can headbutt the trees. Yeah, because uh, there's a double trainer pair up there. I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. Um, so let's see if we can't headbutt something nice out of a tree. If I could get like a Heracross or something, that would be good. Spinarak is fine too. Okay, now I need to be real fucking careful about not killing this. Wait, I've seen a Spinarak before, right? Yeah, but I just haven't caught it. Okay. Do I just want to try Great Ball right out the Do I have... Okay, can I inflict some kind of status change? I can. I can... I can yawn it. Uh, stun it. Yeah, Tenti should be able to, like, hit it without killing it, right? And it's immune to poison, so it can't do that to him. Yeah, no problem there. And Bubble Beam shouldn't do... Okay, it does some damage, but not, uh, not too much. Then we'll have Omelet yawn the thing to sleep. Okay, it can't go to sleep. Fair enough. I guess we just start throwing great balls at it. It's a bug poison. It doesn't really fill a, a niche I don't have in my party already. But uh, you know what? After the losses I've just suffered, I'll take anything. I can't remember what Spinarag evolves into. It lies still in the same pose for days in its web waiting for its unsuspecting prey to wander close. Yeah, let's, uh, let's call you Spiky. <laughs> Wait, no, I think I already named someone Spike at some point. Uh... Oh, no, I know what we're going to call you. There's exactly enough room for Lex McGee. <laughs> well, there we go. Got ourselves a Spina Rack. So that's something. That will be our Route 47 catch. And Route 47 is probably also the best available place we have to grind. Although, let me just go into the pool of water to see what levels the Pokemon are at down there. Let's see if maybe that's a better grind spot than running around the caves themselves. Because then we're just going to record ourselves a grind. At some point, to see and figure out the... Oh, a seal! Ooh, that, oh, it's a, that's a water ice type, isn't it? Aw, oh, shit, that might have been more useful than the Spinarak, honestly. But only level 15, yeah, so maybe that's not really useful for grinding so much. Yeah. 
On the other hand, Ice type is really weak defensively, so. Mm. Maybe not so useful. Huey, do you want a Pokemon battle or do you just want to talk my head off? He doesn't want to battle. How do you get them to battle? Do you have to call them? Like, or do they challenge you? Ooh, a star you- oh my god! <laughs> See, that would have been really useful because that's a pure water type that can learn psychic moves. Really would have liked that. It is a pure water type, right? I think they're not- they're not part psychic. Let's find out. No. Okay. I think that'll be where- That'll be where we leave this episode. Uh, with me emotionally destroyed. <laughs> like, genuinely fucked. Like, that almost made me cry. He came back because he was worried about me. You guys! Fuck. <laughs> So funny. Oh. And genuinely kind of touching. But anyway, uh, that's been an episode of. <laughs> of, <laughs> of Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Nuzlocke Challenge. My god, what an episode to start with, right? Like the first one I record after I've got my. after two months away. And if you enjoy it. <laughs> You're gonna have to like, comment, and subscribe buttons down below. That'll let you know when more of this nonsense is happening. Like, when I'm about to get my ass kicked by more, like, breeze through a gym and get my ass kicked by normal trainers again. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe for that. I have a Patreon, I have a merchandise store, and I have a tip jar. Those are things that help me pay for the excellent editing on this series, uh, courtesy of Jane. Um, and... Also rent and other stuff. So if you want to help me out with any of that, uh, becoming a member will give you early access to episodes on this channel as they go up, rather than waiting for them to be edited. Like, well, you, no, you, you get edited episodes. That's the. But in you, when I upload them, you will see them immediately, rather than waiting for them to be released on schedule like everyone else does. Is what I was trying to say there. God, it's been a long time since I did this. Uh, and outside of that, if, like, if you don't want to do that, obviously you don't have to. Uh, but outside of that, thank you very much for watching. Remember to wear a mask and wash your hands. Fucking still. Um, and try to act with solidarity towards those who are worse off than yourself.